All right, guys, so RJ has been awake. He's upstairs currently fixing things. We've made a decision as to whether or not we're going to leave or stay. Mabuhai Squad, what we've decided is that we're going to... Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Stay put for now. Um, one of the big things that we were talking about was our work will be affected because out there, internet isn't as fast as we wanted. Yes, the area has um, fiber fast internet, but we haven't like signed up with them over there at the farm yet. You know what I mean? Like we need a router or, and all of this, which we don't have out there, which means if we were to be moved out there at the farm right now, we can't upload these daily vlogs. I won't be able to do Ants Canada videos, uh, that kind of thing. So because our work is so internet based, moving out there currently, unless we find some way to have fast internet out there, it, it's kind of not possible. Maybe, I don't know, we'll figure something out if ever, because I would love to relocate to the farm right now especially while cases are rising we'll see good evening mabu high squad so it's sunset i just actually worked out for the first time in months um and i feel great showered all of that and guys look at how beautiful it is outside i love this time of the day like i love the mornings when the sun rises so like 5 30 to 6 a.m and then i love sunset it's also when the dogs are awake. My dogs are crepuscular. Saif's you're called crepuscular, meaning they're awake at sunrise and sunset. And then every time else, they're sleeping. The dogs sleep during the day, for the most part. And then they wake up at this time. Right, Saif's? Right, Sahars? <laughs> Guys, it's funny the um, the nicknames we give our dogs, right? Saif's, Saifies, Sahars, Le Guys, mm, Le Guysies, Le Guysiors. Do you guys like give your pets like weird nicknames? <laughs> it's so funny. Guys, RJ <laughs> just said something that's really funny. What are the common dog names um, of dogs in the Philippines? Blackie, Brownie, Blackie, Whitey. Blackie, Brownie, Whitey. So funny, it's just the color, basically. Oh, that's why, maybe that's why the original name of Sahara was Milky. And Milky's sister is Coco, because that's their color. Maybe. Oh, and guys, because we are on lockdown again, I'm back to the 2020 diet. <laughs> the lockdown diet. It's actually the lockdown routine because, I mean, we're doing nothing here. Bored in the house, bored in the house, bored. So I'm working out again. And guys, ending the day with two packs of Korean spicy noodles. Yes! Tostitos dip, five scrambled eggs, and some grated cheese. I call this the quarantine diet. I had this every single day for eight months. Oh, and it's just, I, I'm telling you guys, like as soon as we're, my brain switches into lockdown mode, I go back to like 2020 routine, I'm not sure. And then I'm also gonna be editing the Ants Canada video myself, start to finish, just like last year. Adventure, change is good though, right? By the way guys, if you're new to the vlogs, welcome to the channel, my name is Mikey Bustos. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button join the mabuhai squad we will be your daily dose of positive vibes i just wanted to also say happy easter monday i just discovered today that here in the philippines they don't use that term easter monday that's what rj says um but in canada like we do easter monday is like part of the holiday okay guys let's do this mukbang view yes gonna stick some egg on there mm, protein and carbs after a hard workout man it was tough all right mabuhai squad do you want the first bite here guys, it's spicy. Open, open, open. Yes, the egg's there. Oops, it also needs Parmesan. Yes. Mukbang view. Mmm, 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 Woo, spicy. I love it. Mmm. And then with that Tostitos dip, it's just wow. Mmm, yum. Woo, so spicy. How are you guys doing over in Canada? I know my titas and my mom and dad and the elderly are getting their vaccines now. I love that. Mm. Of course, it's free for Canadians. We have very good Medicare in Canada. High taxes, but good Medicare. Very proud of that. I know they're rolling out vaccines in US, right? 
I heard you'll be able to get it at like a CVS. What? And, and like a Walmart. I'm like what? Mm -mm -mm. So good. Guys, I went through a whole thing of this in a week. Time to open a new one. There guys, I did it. OMG. Woo. Guys, it just goes together so well. I urge you guys to try it. Yum. And by the way, this flavor of spicy Korean noodles is called Bulldog by Samyang. Go get it. Super spicy. Ooh. They even have other flavors of it too, guys. Mm. They've got a cheesy flavor, which is also really spicy. You guys must, must go check them out. By the way, guys, if you're watching this and you're not eating, don't torture yourself. Go to the fridge, get something. Even if it's like a snack or bread, let's eat together. You know, I feel like eating should be, it should be a social thing, you know? Mm. In my house growing up in Canada, my family and I, we would eat together. We would all sit on the table. My mom's like, Mike, Michael, go call your dad. My mom was so insistent that we all eat as a family. And I didn't appreciate that till like, later in life. I'm like, that was a good call, mommy. Very good. I'm glad we did. And you know, like back then we didn't really have mobiles, right? I felt like it, it made for really good bonding time, right? Between family members. And I mean, we would talk, you know? Mm. And I like that. But then it's weird because as we got older, we started to just eat on our own. Um, we would still eat as a family every now and then but then as we got older you know we, we had conflicting schedules and all of this looking back eating with the family was always something i looked forward to mm. which is why i love eating with you guys on the vlogs i think that's why i'm not used to eating alone although i can eat alone like at a restaurant i can do it but i prefer like company and conversation like this Mm -hmm. And you know, here at home, I'll always try to time when I eat with when RJ eats because I prefer we eat together. Mm. How about you guys? Do you guys eat as a family? Do you like it? Or, or are you the type of family that eat when you can, eat on your own schedule, you know, no expectations? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, guys, look. I feel like I just came out of the shower. I'm almost done. Oh, it's so spicy. Why do we humans torture ourselves? I really like it. Oh, my, my mouth is burning and I suffer tomorrow morning. Mm, but it's just so good. Whew, so, so good. OMG, just finished that whole plate. <laughs> it was so good. Ah. Uh, Oh, excuse me. Whew. See you guys tomorrow. Good morning, Mobu High Squad. Did you sleep well? How are you guys? I know I did. Gosh, I was up at 4 a.m. And so funny, there's this very famous movie actress here, legend. Her name is Jaja Padilla. She sends me a message saying, Happy Easter. And I messaged her back. Look at me flexing. <laughs> The famous Filipino stars that I know and I'm like, oh happy Easter Shasha and then she sends me a message She's like we're both awake before 5 a.m. <laughs> we wake up so early. It's so good to wake up early Are any of you guys early risers like getting up before the break of dawn? You know what I mean when it's still dark look at the view right now while drinking Cypress coffee <laughs> See it's a beautiful like grayish blue sky. It looks like it's currently um, overcast and Cypher's barking at the dogs outside Cypher? but yeah beautiful sky and Sahara's here good morning Sahara yep these dogs wake up early with me at around five. Oh man I already see the dogs like spending 99% of the time in front of the big windows that we have on the first floor just barking at every random thing that they see fly by i already know this oh and guys speaking of zaza padilla um she's currently at sonia's garden at the place we stayed see there she is at sonia's garden the rest house there um be sure to subscribe to her vlog channel it's called buhai provincia She's a really wonderful lady. I think I was always following Shaza, but we connected um, through our like farm thing. 
it, it's funny, like, I found that the moment RJ and I got into, like, the whole farm thing or homesteading, farming, that kind of thing, agriculture, we started to connect with other people who had farms uh, here in the Philippines, like Angie Maid King, um, another very famous personality here in the Philippines. And you saw that vlog when we visited her King Tower farm. Go check out her vlog. Her vlogs are awesome. Her and Joey Mid King, really great. Um, and you know who else we connected because of this farming thing? Another huge, huge star known as the Mega Star here in the Philippines. Her name is Sharon Canera. Love Sharon. She She's like, don't call me ma'am. Call me mama Sharon if you want. <laughs> But don't call me ma'am. So I'm like, okay, Mama Sharon. And for a while, we were like texting each other every morning. Her and her husband have some really beautiful, beautiful farms. I'm, I'm watching their vlogs, like going, OMG, their greenhouse, their their plant nursery is so, so beautiful. Sharon even asked uh, me and RJ, she's like, you guys are doing the right thing. And she's so caring. She's like, um, ask your architect if it can withstand earthquake, you know, sayang your investment. She's so caring. I love Mama. Sharon. She she was like, you need to watch the movie Little Big Farm. I think that's what it's called on Netflix. So RJ and I looked it up, right? Oh no, on Amazon Prime, I think. We looked it up and turns out it's not available here in Philippines. So we're like, oh sorry, you know, Sharon, it's not available here. I'll just watch it the next time I go to Canada. And then she's like, it's okay, I ordered it for you. <laughs> what? You or like the mega star just ordered us a DVD, RJ. Like, is this real life? <laughs> But yeah, we're like a farmer's unit. You know what I'm saying? Like Philippine farmers unite. So guys, thank you so much. I'm reading your comments uh, for yesterday's vlog regarding, um, you know, moving out to the farm. Speaking of farm, turns out there are confirmed cases in this building um, and it seems like most of you are saying stay put. Some of you are saying go out there, do it. Um, we did talk to architect Dennis and to clarify staying out there before the house is done, he said they could get a Bahai Kubo. It's a portable Bahai Kubo, which is basically a big bamboo hut. They can deck it out with electricity, with air conditioning, and even a television. In terms of bathroom and shower, he said we could use his bathroom and shower, which if you saw previous vlogs, is this big structure. It's like a, how do I explain it? It's it's basically this stone room, brick room, or like a see-through sky roof, essentially. Um, and you could shower in there. It's really beautiful, actually. And there's a toilet in there, so that's where we would go. Um, and in terms of internet, I think he proposed that we go to Torres Farm, which is in a neighboring town, Naik. You guys know Torres Farm, right? Owned and run by um, our friends Eric and Anna. They have fast internet there. We can go take daily trips to Amare, La Cucina there, you know what I mean? Have breakfast and upload what we need to. So I'm sure it's possible. Um, and a lot of you guys also suggested we have someone from our team stay here and take care of the pets, like Ate Elsie. But like, shouldn't Ate Elsie and her family also come with us? Like, aren't we leaving the battlefield, you know, in order to go to safer places? Like, it would feel wrong having her stay here. But I mean, maybe Ate Elsie and her family want to stay in Manila. They might not necessarily want to go all the way to Cavite indefinitely for now. So I don't know, we'll see. For now, RJ and I are going to stay put, as I said yesterday. What? What is it, guys? It's funny, the dogs have this communication thing going on. Like the dogs in the neighborhood, even though we're high up in the sky in a high rise condo. Hey guys, chill. Oh yeah guys, as I was saying, it is currently 6 a.m. So I have three hours to decide if I want to run because runners and bikers are allowed to go run and bike during this lockdown between 6 and 9 a.m. But then I think about, oh, I gotta go in the elevator. There could be COVID pieces flying around in the elevator, but then no, the staff said they, they double the disinfecting routine. I think about that, that maybe I should just stay in. Guys, this is a, such a weird time. Weird, weird, weird time, guys. Don't you think? Like, seriously, this is so weird. Like, how is this real life right now? How is this happening? <laughs> I look back at old vlogs where we could all gather in big groups. We could hug each other, kiss each other, like give each other high fives, shake hands. Like, I already feel that it's... Cypher, shh. No barking. We understand. There are dogs. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Remember those days where we could gather in big groups? When I watch... 
like old videos of, of crowds, I already feel like, ooh, virus. Like, it's already part of our, like, behavior now to not gather in big crowds. Do you guys find this too? Like, I was watching an old Oprah video the other day and I'm going, oh my gosh, I feel the virus all over. And like, wow, people are openly hugging and kissing. And see, it, like, I feel that I'm already trained to not gather in big crowds and stuff. Like, it's, it's really changed the behavior of people, this virus. The social behavior of humans. I don't know, for me, how about you guys? Like, have you guys tried watching old YouTube videos of like people gathering in huge groups, concerts, um, you know, like talk shows and all of that? Like, don't you feel that, that cringe feeling, that repulsion of like a crowd? When you see that, like that shows that it's already in our subconscious. It, it's already subconscious to not like gather and be social like we used to. It's really interesting how this virus is changing the way humans interact. Yay guys, it's raining. Now I'm kind of glad I didn't go running. Although it is such a great feeling running in the rain. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend. But you know what's funny? I used to be like, oh man, this is crappy weather, rain, rain, boo hoo. But I actually like rain now, especially since getting the farms, because now I'm like, yay, our little mango tree will be watered, right? Because I worry every day that the heat is scorching, you know, the layer of soil that it's growing on and it's not getting water and it'll wilt and burn. But no, I love rain now. It's like, I know all these trees will get to drink and all of that. Seriously, like, again, going into agriculture changed completely my way of thinking. Mm, and I love the smell of rain. Do you guys, do any, are any of you guys rain lovers? Mm, right? Like drinking coffee in the rain. There's just nothing like it. I just want to stay here. It smells so good. And guys, I showed you this golf course the other day, right? This is Wak Wak Golf Course. And it must be such a headache to keep this grass alive. I find like real grass lawns um, are hard to keep here in the Philippines. So, I mean, unless you live in the mountains where it rains often, like Baguio, where our coffee comes from, guys. Yeah, I find like having a grass lawn in Manila is high maintenance. It's gotta be watered every day. And even so, there are patches of brown grass. See, even if they water the lawn, I guess the sun just scorches the soil and the, and the, the grass. It's really hard to keep here in the Philippines, during summer anyway. During rainy season, it's a blast. <laughs> it rains every day, so the plants come alive. All right guys, it is time for positive affirmation of the day. Let's do this. What is our positive affirmation for Easter Monday? Let's see, April the 5th. Because I keep myself centered in inner peace, I have peace in my outer world. Ooh, love that it shows that your inside creates your outside. Love that. There you go, guys. Hope you enjoy today's positive affirmation. Very cute waterfall. All right, guys. So just showered with the dogs. Yes, they just had their bath. <laughs> they get so hyper afterwards. Okay, Cypher, I believe the Tahoe man knows you're here. <laughs> okay, shh. Did you enjoy your second bath with us? Hmm, Sarah? Okay, guys. So turns out RJ and I have to head out we gotta go out there we gotta go in the outside world um and it's something that must must be done um it was actually scheduled a long time ago mabuhai squad rj and i are now heading to 